<laughs> he has so many firecrackers down. Nice. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be playing what is, in my opinion, the best hog deck in the game right now. The only other deck that's even like close to as popular is this hog variation. There's also a hog variation that has Dark Goblin instead of the Musketeer and Valk instead of the Knight and Bass instead of the Bar Barrel. So if you need different variations or if you don't like the variation I'm showing you, um, feel, free to, feel free to try out those. But this is the version I'll be using today. It's very strong. I tried out the Heal Spirit in place of the Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit, um, from my experience, and also according to Rel API, has a higher win rate, so it is better. Um, the main difference you're gonna see between this hog deck and other hog decks is you're not really playing hog rider first play unless you like don't really have anything else in your starting hand to play. Um, it's kind of a deck where you're trying to avoid King Tower activation at the start of the game, and a lot of times, if, say, for example, you notice they have a tornado in your deck, you're going to try to punish with Hog Mini P.E.K.K.A. Um, at the bridge early in the game to get a lot of damage. So you kind of use Mini P.E.K.K.A. a lot um, in offense on this deck, like in this deck in combination with the Hog Raider. So I'll show you what I mean, and let's hit some ladder. Okay, here we go. Game one. I do have the Ice Spirit, so I'm just going to... Go here with the Ice Spirit. Probably start the Ice Golem in the back. As I said earlier, it's been working pretty well for me not playing Hog first play. Um, not really the biggest fan of it. In this deck, at least. So I think it's actually a mirror match, or he has... Okay. So I'm just going to activate my King Terror. Either it's a mirror match or he has Royal Hogs. We'll see. I think that kills that. Yeah, it does. Nice. So I'll just Ice Spirit the bridge. Looks like we had a pretty good push there. I'm honestly just going to Earthquake for damage here. Because we had an Elixir advantage. And I wanted to also slow everything down, and there we go. By the way, I think we're facing Mick on Booyah right now. I'm not 100% sure about that, but his name looks pretty similar. Either that or it could be like Reiki Jones or something like that. So... Do I Ice Spirit the Bridge? I think I do. I think Ice Spirit the Bridge is the correct play here, and then I go Firecracker in the back. So we're just going to Bats that. Go ahead and mirror his Firecracker. So, probably just go Hog Ice Golem. I quick drop it so I can cycle to the Ice Golem. No, so I can cycle to the Hog quicker, sorry. Okay, so, just log that to finish off the tower. And I will log also so it doesn't get too much damage. I think we can defend our tower. Like, not 100% sure about that, but we probably can. We're gonna try to, at least. Well, here I'm probably gonna go ahead and pressure with the Hog Rider. I'll surround that with bats. So he needs to Earthquake. Oh, we got a ton of damage on his right tower. So if he kills that tower, no, it doesn't kill that tower. Really close, but um, we had so much damage on his right tower, we definitely could have won the game. I actually think I have this guy on my friends list, but I don't know who he is. Like, he might be one of the Japanese players, I'm not really sure. So, I'm thinking I'll just ice school in first play. Definitely just going to firecracker that. So, I'm already thinking Mega Knight. Looks like a Mega Knight deck. Could be something else, but a lot of times when you see Inferno Dragon, it's going to be the Mega Knight. So I'll just hog in the opposite lane. 
Oh. You know, I think this is actually a balloon. Dang, I was really not expecting a tornado there. Yeah, this is balloon. Maybe balloon Valkyrie? I don't know, I don't remember the exact deck. So I'm just gonna attack here since I have his tornado outcycled. And I think I just mini pack on the back. Okay, not really anything we can do to support this push. We just have to kind of. Oh, that's good for us. So we're gonna go firecracker same lane here. I'll log because I want to save the Ice Spirit in case he goes with a Miner. And then I'm going to go with the Ice Spirit. I think I'm just going to Earthquake to Cycle. So what I should have done there, instead of playing Earthquakes, I should have just played the Ice Golem and then um, add Hog next, next card. And then I should have just played Hog at the Bridge. Oh man. I think we lost. Wow. Gonna go in for one last push. Probably over. I think the, yeah, well, first of all, that's like an impossible matchup. But second of all, I think the Earthquake Cycle was not a good play. But it was kind of a panic play, and I wasn't really sure what else to do in the moment. So I'll just Ice Golem in the back. Um, I might, well, wait a little bit. With this type of deck, um, it's not 2.6, it's a little sore cycle, so usually you don't want to make like the first play instantly. Okay, so we see the Goblin Hut, so I'm definitely just going to Earthquake Log it. It's like the only thing that really gets a good trade versus the Goblin Hut. I don't think I can hit that Spear Goblin, so it's just going to die. Okay. So we're just going to go all in here. Wow. Really was not expecting the Barbarians. But I was expecting a Tornado, which is why I attacked so hard. So we're just going to kite with an Ice Comb now. An Ice Spirit so that the Barbarian's going to get too much damage and man, this kind of stinks. And he's going to activate King Terror. No, we have to hog right here so we can't. I don't actually know if he has Tornado, but... We have to play it safe. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Nice. We can't log that, we have to save our log for the Goblin Hut. So this is a, a pretty... not good start. I'm gonna play the log all the way back because I think that'll... No, it doesn't even. We have to also play bats? Okay, that's gonna at least split up his push. So we're actually just gonna go here and kite everything.
And then I think... If I do that... I don't know if he has... I don't think he has it. Does he have arrows? I don't even know. I don't think he has tornado, though. We're gonna earthquake this. Because then we can also log and it'll fully kill it. So we have like a million... Uh, hey, we actually won. <laughs> we have so many firecrackers down. Nice. GG. S-Fix Expo Fan. Wow. Hit him up with the Ice Spirit. So he probably has Expo. Like, who names himself Expo Fan if they don't run Expo? You know, you know what I mean? So it looks like Icebo. So he played the High Ice Goal, I'm assuming he has Expo just because that's his name. And I think we'll go ahead and... Wow. Really weird tornado. So we're just gonna log this. And... I'm gonna Ice Speed as soon as that dies. Um, I think I'll just play High Ice Golem again. I'm thinking I go with High Firecracker and then... Maybe we attack? Wow, I did not think he could activate King Tower that way. I thought the Valkyrie was going to be too high. I guess it's well played by him. So this, I think, forces out maybe an awkward card or two. Or gets a hit on the tower. That's good. Hopefully it at least kills that. We gotta use a defensive hog rider here. Okay, the thing is, his expo is never gonna break through um, because we have such solid defense, but also, he's gonna try to rocket cycle us. We're just gonna try to kill it with firecracker. So we have to play the, um, gonna predict the skeletons. Yeah, we have to play the bats there to predict the Tesla. Well, the good news is he had to use his rocket. The bad news is it didn't really give us an elixir advantage. So I think I just start the firecracker in the back and then we play that there, we we'll put the mini packet and the hog rider at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and earthquake it now, it should finish it off. Just gonna sacrifice ice, the ice wizard damage. I'll play a high firecracker. No. Okay, we're just going to spam that lane. Hope for one hit.
And we got the win. I don't even know, man. That... Uh, see, the problem is, if you have, like, a musketeer or something, right? You just play the high musketeer, and then... They can't just log it. Like, the problem is with this deck, you kind of have to predict when they're going to use Tornado versus when they're going to use Tesla. Because if they, like, Tornado log your Firecracker and your Hog all at the same time, it gets a ton of value. But if you don't support your Hog Rider with, like, um, the Firecracker or something, then your your Hog Rider's never going to break through because he has both a Tesla and a Tornado. So it's a weird matchup. Okay, so here we go. Versus Hajime, who... Either he sniped me, or... I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, so he has Graveyard, yeah. I wasn't sure if he had Expo. I checked his battle log recently, and he was running, um... Expo, but he also was switching decks a lot, so... Just gonna Ice Spear with that. I don't really want to attack quite yet. So I'm just going to use the mini peck at a tank, I think. And... Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I lost. Man, it stinks because he knows my deck, so he played it well. A lot of times you can win this matchup, um, but he uh, he didn't make a mistake. So I'm going to Ice Spirit Bats to split up his push. And then I'm thinking I cycle Firecracker first. Then I'll Ice Golem. Gonna predict the bomb tower. Okay, he has to also spend something. Not, not very likely we're gonna come back from this. His baby dragon graveyard push, and normally it's a bad play um, to do that aggressive of a graveyard, but unfortunately with my cycle, that was a pretty good play from him. So again, we're just gonna ice spirit skeletons. And then I'm gonna... I think. Cycle the mini P.E.K.K.A on the back. Okay, we should have out cycled his bomb tower, I think. Yeah, we did. So we'll go with the mini P.E.K.K.A on the back. Gonna cycle this early. And go in here. I'm pretty sure he'll bomb tower. He might not, but um I'm just gonna assume he does. So we're just playing his Man, that really stinks. We have literally nothing for the graveyard. I'm going to try to predict his bomb tower with the bats, so I'm going to try to get some damage. So we'll go with the firecracker. The problem is we also have to log. Yeah, this is not looking like a victory for us. We just have to get super aggressive because not much else we can do here. Okay, GG. He beat us. The way that you can win that matchup though is 
Say they go with, like... Well, basically, if they waste their knight, then all you have to do is just hog mini P.E.K.K.A. past the bridge in the other lane, and, like, nine times out of ten, you're gonna take their tower. But... Yeah, he, the problem was he activated his King Tower before he could do that because he played it pretty well. But if you can get them to waste their Knight, that is how you're going to win that. So I Spirit first play. Gonna go Bats in the other lane. And then I guess I'll just Earthquake that. It's going to Hog, but no reason to Hog if he goes with the Goblin Hunt. So I'll just Log to finish that off. And he maybe has Graveyard. That's what it looks like. Probably doesn't have like a, tor a tornado. Just gonna hog to pull that back. I'll play the high bats. And then just ice fruit on the counter push, and then we'll wait and see here. So I'm thinking I'm going to cycle the Firecracker first, because we're going to want it here to kill that Musketeer, and that way I can cycle more quickly to another Firecracker. Then we're going to Prediction Earthquake. And log for maybe one hit? Ooh, we didn't get hit. Okay. What's the cycle here? I think if I go Bats Ice Spirit is actually a good play. Maybe I go in the other lane? Yeah, we will go in the other lane. Just in case. I'm gonna go kind of aggressive here because he shouldn't have a good cycle to defend this. Had to play Firecracker anyway. Okay, so, got an attacker, well he's probably going to activate King Tower either way, but um, oh he doesn't activate King Tower, he kind of panics. Kind of need to go off the lane of him now, so we're just going to keep going in this lane. Going to play the log all the way back here. And then I'll go with the Hog Rider Ice Golem. Ooh, unfortunately it doesn't kill. I think I'll just Hog to keep it alive. Because I'll have to play the Goblin Hut anyway, yeah. Nice. And maybe he actually sinked out here? No, he doesn't. And he shouldn't, if he does decide to poison that, he won't be able to defend the hog. And there we go. GG. Probably gonna split Bat's first play here. And I'm thinking since I have the Bat's down already, we're gonna go with the Hog Rider. And... Ooh, really weird deck by him. I would guess that it's a Lava Hound deck, though. Okay, so we get a really nice log. Okay, it's Lava Hound, probably. So... Doesn't have Barbarians in hand. I think we go Bass in the back? No. Do we mini peck at the bridge? I'm mini pecking the bridge. And we're gonna Ice Spirit. Maybe two hits if we're lucky. It does get two hits. It's actually really good. So we'll just defend this with Ice Golem. And 
then we probably mini P.E.K.K.A behind this. And I'm gonna actually just hog opposite lane. That way he can't defend both lanes. Which will work out pretty well for us. I thought he would actually ignore the mini P.E.K.K.A, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna firecracker over here because it'll kill the barbarians and go to the other side though. He'll probably just arrows it or something. Yeah, he does arrows. Don't really need our log for defense, so just gonna log that. Now we're just gonna wait. Gonna wait for 10 elixir before our defense. Okay, he does go with that. Okay, here we go. So we'll play the bats to DPS on the miner, then we got the ice golem on defense. Pretty solid defense. Very solid defense. So I'm just gonna go with the Hog Rider here. And then cycle a Firecracker on the other side. Um, Hi Bats, Ice Golem to predict that. Then we're gonna play a Miner to predict that. And this is looking like a pretty solid victory. So the Hog Rider actually is really nice there because, um, yeah, it protects the Firecracker from the Flying Machine, and there we go. Here we go, versus Spirit. So, again, thinking... Wait a little bit. Then probably Ice Golem. Okay, we'll just go with the Firecracker. Oh man, where's my Earthquake? I think that hits two. Okay, it does. Nice. Can it jump? Oh, it does jump. Okay, so I should have attacked there. Oh, I'm attacking here. And we're also going in bat with bats, that way if you activate the King Tower, it'll be a lot of damage. Very nice. I'll take it. I wish we had taken his tower, but it's better than nothing, I'll tell you what. Nice. And now he's still gonna have to defend it or respond to both of these lanes. I'm thinking he goes with an Ice Wizard in the middle. If he has it. Oh, he's not in cycle. That makes sense, too. So, I'll wait till 10 Elixir. I don't know if we have an Elixir advantage. It would have got a hit on my tower, so I decided just to play the Ice Spirit. Just to play it safe. And then I'm thinking I go with Hog, and then I'm going to delay a second, then I'm going to Bats. There we go, and the Bats force him to play the Baby Dragon, which is exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we get down the log, there we go. Very nice, and I mean all we have to do now is defend for basically the rest of the game, and we'll win. But I'm just going to attack in case he does somehow take our tower. And also so he can't split up a big push here. So I'm going to play the high mini P.E.K.K.A to block the bridge and we're going to ice golem. Um, do we have to be careful here? But no, I think we won. I don't think that does enough damage, so I'm just going to cycle back to my log, and there we go. So, great game to end off the video. I showed you what I meant, because that's where we lost that Hajime matchup. All you have to do is exactly what I did when they played the knight, and you can pretty much beat Graveyard like every single time. Um, it's only when, yeah, they play well like Hajime, and they, they don't play that knight, um, or they activate King Tower before you get the chance, that's when they're going to beat you. 
But yeah, it looks like we're ending this video off at... Wait, really? I thought it would put me like top 20 if I won the game. Looks like we're ending off the video at 30 seconds in the world. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And Vulcan, out.